Hi, I'm Josh Miller, Vice President of Sales at Keystone RV Company. I'm super excited to be in our innovation lab again to talk about our brand new 12 volt power distribution box. But it also has another name, it's called the Giggy Box. And that's why I'm standing here with Brad Giggy, who's one of our Director of Engineering. He's the one that developed the box. Hi Josh, great, thanks for uh, having me here. I'm excited to talk to you about it today. Well, Brad, I'm super excited to be talking about this as well. The Giggy Box is a huge innovation that helps with the 12 volt power distribution to the camper. And that's super important nowadays because of how many things are dictated with having the absolute optimal 12 volt power supply. It could be power stabilizer jacks, remote systems, slide outs, a ton of different components in this high tech camper are dictated by having the optimum power. So the Giggy Box was designed to kind of uh, eliminate some troubles that campers typically have. Um, one of them is just kind of the messy wire situation that typically happens up in the A-frame. Can you walk us through right. how this, this kind of cleans that up for the customers? Yeah, so over the years, adding all those components that you just listed, right? The, the tank heaters, the solar kits, yeah. those are all items that have to be wired directly up here to the battery. So it, it's, it adds a lot of wire. It's, it's gotten a little confusing for the customers and for dealers. So we wanted to clean that up, make it a little more organized, uh, and make it simpler to understand. That's why we came up with the box. That's awesome. Well, as you can see here with the, with the distribution box, the Giggy box, the super clean, but there's a lot going on behind that panel, isn't there? Can you show us what, what's going on back there? Right. Normally what you would have found back on the draw bar years ago and with some other manufacturers, but these are all breakers that power all the 12 volt system in our unit. And it puts the disconnect switch right here between the breakers and the battery. So if you turn off the battery disconnect switch, you're turning everything off in the coach, except for a solar charge. If you do have a solar kit on your unit, it will still charge the batteries. That, what you're saying, Brad, is super important because over the years, more and more of the, uh, the battery disconnect switches are, are showing up in our campers and competitors' campers. But the problem has always been a little bit of a parasitic draw, right? Even Correct. when you turn it off, it doesn't quite turn off to the system. And this kind of remedies that, doesn't it? Correct. One of the issues has always been the location of the disconnect switch. Some people will put it in the pass-through, and it really just disconnects your 12-volt converter inside the unit. And that leaves other items like tank heaters that could be mistakenly left on. Well, this puts the disconnect switch between the battery and every other 12-volt component in the unit. So once you hit that switch, turn it off, it's off. That's super important because customers want to know that when they get back out to their battery, when they flip that disconnect off, that when they come out, that there's going to yeah. be power in their battery. Some of the other things I want to kind of hit on that you, you pointed out was, you know, the, the breakers that are in there. You know, I love the fact that I see those breakers housed in a nice wider, watertight um, um, setup, whereas before we would have just had those breakers on the outside, correct? Correct. We used to put them on the draw bar and we would use a rubber uh, boot cover that the vendor supplied for us. But it didn't really offer much protection from either the elements or damage from road debris, where this box does. Uh, I wouldn't say this box is waterproof, but it, it does have water drain holes at the bottom. So if water does get in, it can always get back out. Absolutely. Well, and it's way better to be in there than it is exposed out on there. Yes. The other thing you mentioned was, was the color coating that we have here. And then actually the cover, as you took it off, I noticed that we've got really automotive style diagrams so that whether it's the customers themselves or the dealerships can easily identify what's going on inside the box. This tells them what everything is for. Yeah. It tells them what the, each connection is for, whether it's for the brakes, the turn signals, even though it's color coded. Absolutely. I think any time that we can talk about, you know, something that mirrors the technology in automotive, it resonates with the customers. They see a lot of value in that. So everything you're talking about, Brad, is, is phenomenal. And I think we've cleaned up a lot of things with regard to the 12-volt the power system. I know that one of the questions that we're going to get is, this area up here is super important for a lot of the hitch equipment, the sway control, weight equalization that our customers use to, to tow our campers. We've taken that into consideration with this design as well, haven't we? Absolutely. Well, putting everything into one box on the front cross member or even on the draw bar further back uh, frees up that area in, in the battery compartment. So you can actually go from draw bar to draw bar with your batteries. And it also, the, the battery area typically has always been an area where you put the weight distribution hitch, the bracket you would have to mount to the draw bar. 
So taking this off of the drawbar frees up all that room. All cool stuff, Brad. Is there anything that we missed in there that you guys have uh, added as an enhancement? Yeah, one more thing. We do have a dedicated breakaway post here for the breakaway switch. Uh, so you'll always have power to that breakaway switch. Even though the breakaway switch won't draw power unless you're actually disconnected from the tow vehicle, uh, you will always have power to it, though, even with the disconnect switch turned off. It's kind of a safety feature. But that just sounds like a peace of mind to me that the customers are going to know that their, that their braking system is always going to be wired in and have, have access to power. That's awesome. So again, the 12 volt distrib power distribution center that, that we've developed here at Keystone, the Giggy Box, as named after Brad, is an unbelievable advancement on our, on our trailers. It's going to clean up all those wires. It's going to protect those breakers. It's going to get your battery disconnect in a spot where you can be confident it's going to kill all of the 12 volt draw from the camper. And you're still going to be able to install your customer's sway control and weight equalization on here. So it's been fun talking to you about it, Brad. Appreciate you guys taking the time. Happy camping.